This is how much more I have. And this is how much more I had. As you can see, I've been using quite a bit of it recently. And if I don't do anything, it's going to run out like my hope for Amber getting buffed after the incident. So for a challenge, I'd like to see how much more I can get within a single week if I used every tactic I knew of. But of course, you already know the numbers since I put it in the title. 16 million more is what I got. And here's how I did it. Before we start, I'd like to say this challenge was inspired by Greta Status Mora video, so be sure to check them out. Anyway, we begin on day one doing what everyone else does first, daily commissions. They gave out a staggering 6,575 more per commission and 13,000 more for completion. Truly amazing. While some do give a bit less, you could still expect about 40,000 more every day just from the daily commissions alone. But of course, that's not all you could do at the Adventurer's Guild. I had a rank 58 reward that I didn't claim yet, which gives me 50,000 more and 2 fragile wrestling. There's also expeditions where you send out your most skilled characters to do some forced labor every day for an excessive amount of time to get some free stuff for you. Kinda reminds me of sl for 20 hours, you can get 5,000 more, and since you can use 5 characters, that's 25,000 more per day with little effort. Moving on, I went to do the ley lines, which in my opinion, is the most efficient way of gaining more. For only 20 resin, you can get an insane 60,000 more, or in other words, 480,000 more every single day. Now, normally I would be fine with this, but in order to reach even greater numbers, I have to look at all my options. Some you're probably very familiar with are events. They're a limited time and usually give out a ton of rewards, so I chose to do them first. Here we have the picture event. Yep, this one is very fun. I just got 160,000 more for taking a few pictures. Wow. The next event on the list is Fabulous Fungus Frenzy. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it the fun guy event. Now, unlike the picture event, where you only have to do one small quest, this one has six acts. Huh? Okay, I might be exaggerating a bit. The acts aren't as long as the ones from the story or the Arkham quest though, so it's not actually that bad. However, since I did start playing very late, I could only get through act one. I'm now up 1.3 million more, but I'm tired, so see ya. After regenerating some of my brain cells, I think I'm ready for the first task of the day. But it's not daily commissions. You see, the developers of Genshin Impact personally sent me a message to offer my opinion for a small load of 30,000 more. Of course, me being the correct person to ask, took their offer, and uh, this is what I said. Why did you use Quick Start to participate in the event? I wanted to get more. After I received my rewards, I then did my daily commissions and completed the fungi quest, which gave me 100,000 mora on top of the 20,000 from the day before. But there's the problem. I somehow stalled for 7 hours in the middle of the fungi quest, probably fell asleep or something. And now there's barely any time left in the day. I had to go fast. So I speed ran the mora ley lines. Done. Battle pass also has some mora, and my weekly missions are resetting tomorrow, so I need to get that done too. A big 200,000 mora from the teapot, and some transient resin. Pretty nice. Another 32 thousand from the battle pass. I finished off with the parametric transformer, a gadget I may have forgotten about for a whole year, which gave me a final 40,000 more, ending the day with a total of 1 million more. Also, I might have gone past 12 a.m., but it's close enough, so I'm still gonna count it in the same day. I'm only doing this once by the way. That's all for day two though, goodbye. Today, I woke up to a horrible truth. The unforgivable realization that I might have forgotten to do my expeditions yesterday. After some investigative journalism, I saw that I was waiting for Kuki Shinobu's expedition to reset so I can claim everyone's at the same time, but then forgot about it. 25,000 mora gone. Just like that. This is so sad. But I refuse for this to happen again, so... I made a to-do list. And with that, all my problems are solved. So I went back to Genshin Impact, the forum, to get some free mora. But hold up, is it more already free? Shush. This button right here leads you to the daily check-in, which gives you a free 10,000 mora just for logging onto the site for the first time. And as for the actual check-in, you can get some more rewards the more you log on for the month. I already missed two days, so I don't know if I can get the day 7 reward, but I guess I'll have to find out. There's also this Hillitro event I did, which I didn't get anything from. So uh, let's just pretend it doesn't exist. Anyway, with that done, I followed the usual daily commissions and expeditions, and then finished up the fungi event challenges. And let me just say right now, this event did not hold back on its Mara. Challenge rewards each gave 20,000 Mora, and there were 60 of them. 
And to top that off, there's more Mora you can buy in the event shop, making the total 1.6 million Mora. There's so much Mora. It just does not stop. After that was done, I started working on my Archon quest. These quests are usually split up into three different segments. And I say usually because Act 5 actually has four segments. But anyway, the ones I did gave anywhere from 30 to 40,000 Mara. And I almost finished Act 4 by midnight, gave me about 160,000 Mara, along with another late Leyland run for 480,000. And to add everything up, I gained 2.3 million Mara today, more than doubling what I got yesterday. But my brain cells and energy are depleted again, and I need some sleep, so. Goodbye for now. Alright, I woke up, got to my PC, and it's the same procedure as usual. I opened up my daily check-in, claim my reward, but that's when I noticed something. There was a very conspicuous button placed on the top right of the rewards, claiming that I can make up for check-in. Instantly, I was captivated by the opportunity given to me, so I checked it out, clicking on a few buttons until I was given the next day's reward. Anyway, I continued doing the rest of my regular activities, except this time, finishing the Mora Leylands early with the help of Transit Resin, because I was tired of waiting very late for my resin to recover, but this also means I got an extra 60,000 Mora today. Afterwards, I sat through 193 minutes of Archon Quest for 200,000 Mora. That's more than a thousand Mora per minute just for listening to the story. Then I did my expeditions. Cause I forgot. I also completed the photo event for another 120,000 Mara, so I'm basically a certified photographer now. If you don't believe me, take a look at my photos. They really do speak for themselves. With that off my list, I checked what else was on my event tab. And just as I expected, a character trial containing 15,000 Mara. I did it, claimed the rewards, and then moved on to do some story quests, completing not one, not three, but a grand total of two story quests for a whopping 220,000 Mara. I also did some story quests earlier too while working on the Archon quest, so add another 100,000 to that. Overall, a 1.4 million Mora profit for today. But yeah, anyway, I'm dying from reading exhaustion, so bye. Okay, today's going to be an important one. This week so far just felt like me catching up on my events and quests, so now I decided to do something different. The goal? Farming as much Mora as possible through exploration only. And the method? Rocks. But not just any old rock. A very odd pile of stacked up stones. Upon interacting with them, they give an incredible 10 to 20,000 Mora. What's also convenient is that the Teyvat interactive map has a feature to show you where all of these rocks are. And there's 350 of them! That's over 3.5 million Mora hidden underneath some rocks. I needed it. All of it. So I began my journey to become the greatest geologist of all time. I studied the rock, became one with the rock, climbed for the rock, committed flower robbing for the rock. Money! Die. So the second one should be down here in this house. Go! Oh. Murdered innocent mushrooms for the rock. You know, the usual. I spent over six hours finding and collecting these rocks. After all of that, I found about 100 rocks, or about 1.5 million Mora. So yeah, that was a pretty good farming session. I ended off with another 2 mil today. On day 6, I was able to scare the last 8,000 Mora from the daily check-in, and then continued on to Genshin. But just before I started rock farming again, a familiar event made a rerun today. Check this out! Hmm, the fourth- hey! Anyway, after completing the first challenge, because it's the only one I could do, I went to the event shop and redeemed 240,000 Mora. However, I wasn't done with combat yet. There's a major one I've been slowing for since the past few days, and it's the Spiral Biz. Now, I heard many great stories on how fun the current rotation was, so I wanted to try it out for myself. And they couldn't be more right. What is even going on? How do I kill him? My god, you is dead! Why is my god, you dead again? I'm just way out of practice. 
Dude, I, I give up. This is so dumb. I got to floor 12, chamber 2, amassing 220,000 mora for clearing it, and another 180k for the stars. After I finished, I continued back to rock farming, doing the same thing I was doing yesterday, and it was going well. That is, except for one small problem. To explain, both today and the day before, I couldn't get access to a few locations where some rocks were hitting. In fact, yesterday, I spent 90 minutes trying to get this one rock that wasn't even loaded in yet. I, uh, got through the rock wall with my expert navigation, if you're wondering. Oh! What just happened?! Now, normally, you would have to complete some world quests to gain access to these areas, but here's the thing. I think I maxed out my stubborn stat or something because instead of spending less time by doing that, I decided to force my way inside. And to my surprise, it worked. Once. You see, I tried to break into both of these giant rune golems. The one in the mountain was much easier than I thought. It took less than 3 minutes to get inside. Then I just climbed to the top and found the rock. The one in the valley, however, was a much different story. I spent over 30 minutes exploring the forbidden lands and still didn't even find a way inside. To summarize, I think I wasted my time. I finished off the day with 75 rocks, or 25 less than the previous day. But even so, I made just slightly more than day 5 by about 3,000 mora due to the combat rewards from earlier. With that done, I am tired. Bye. Day 7. The last opportunity I have to make mora. Every second counts. So, like a normal person, just after waking up, I went straight to Genshin and started grinding. I quickly got my daily commissions and expeditions done and then did the mora ley lines, where I spent 400 resin for 1.2 million mora. Next, I went to the Serenity teapot for a transit resin and 200,000 mora. Then I went back to the ley lines for an additional 180k mora. With the weekly missions of the bat pass already reset, I started working on those challenges, one by one, which were mostly easy, but there was this one weekly mission which required me to use 80 more resin, so I got a fragile resin and completed the mission. That's another 240,000 mora from the ley lines. Then I finished the reputation task for 150,000 mora, and finally, after claiming all the weekly missions, I got to level 30, which gives you a fair bit of mora if you're free to play. So I became a whale for even more mora and Fragile Resin, which I once again used at the ley lines. Is this too many ley line trips for one day? I have no idea. Anyway, 900,000 mora. Now, the 3.3 Genshin livestream happened earlier today, and among one of the codes they released was this one, worth 50,000 mora. I mean, this is literally just free mora, so I redeemed it. Upon checking my mail though, I noticed a new web event occurring, and I was curious on whether or not it would give me mora, so I tried it out. Wait, mora, how, how do I get it? Oh, oh, I see it. So we need this one. And now if we give him the hat and this. Oh my gosh, there we go. 50,000 Mora. I don't even know if I said 15 or 50 there. After this, I look for Mora in places I haven't been to in a while. I start with the Adventure Sandbook, where I got 80,000 Mora times two for beating a few basic domains. Then I went ahead and yoinked some more from a magical tree and also this big onion. Hopefully the stuff I did today wasn't too confusing because there's still more. You know those rocks I talked about earlier? The ones that I couldn't get because of world quest restrictions? Well, it's time to do some world quests. So I completed the RNR ones that gave me the score I needed for these locations and then collected the remaining rocks. On top of this, I took an additional 2 hours exploring the desert, claiming whatever rock I could find. But I did miss out on quite a few because of world quest problems again. I didn't really have too much time to do this quest and to be honest I didn't even know which. So instead I opted on speedrunning Ayato's quest for 100,000 mora. He doesn't know. I swear he doesn't know. Come on, you were looking the other way. How did how do you just teleport looking backwards? And finally, not yet. I did the Marley lines for the fifth oh and last God. time oh with gosh. the 60 rest in our regenerator, making my total profit for today 5.9 million mora. Over the course of the week, this adds up to a grand total of 16.5 million mora. And now the challenge is officially completed. Could I have gotten even more than this? Sure, but you know, I'm kind of lazy. So yeah, I'm satisfied with what I got. Anyway, subscribe for more bad content and thank you for watching.